Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So this week I have been to Sainsbury's and I got some really good bargains on some beauty products which are over the back there. Like some really really reduced prices and I also obviously picked up some bits and pieces we need for the week. So I'll take you through everything I've bought and then at the end I'll let you know how much I spent. So I've got some onions, some royal garlic apples. And these were 85p for four on a special offer. I got a Chinese leaf cabbage instead of lettuce for some salads just for a change. Some red seedless grapes and some closed cut mushrooms. I got another cucumber. I have got a couple in the fridge but we tend to eat quite a lot. Got some of these Jersey royal potatoes. These are my absolute favourite potatoes. And I'm going to make some potato salad at the weekend. And these were £3 a pack and they were on the nectar deal for £1.50. So I've got two of those. Some eggs, these are mixed size eggs and as you can see some of them are huge and some of them are really tiny. And someone in the comments said last week that their husband watched someone swap out all the eggs, so swap all the small ones for big ones. I didn't do that, I didn't really have the guts to be uh, swapping out the eggs but I had a good look through and found quite a good one where these all seem to be quite large because some of them are actually ridiculously tiny so we've got some of those anyway. I got some mixed peppers, these were £1.65. Two lots of fish and chip shop style battered fish. These are £3 at the moment and you get four in there. And the Young's one is actually really, really nice. I'm gonna do some burgers over the weekend. So I got these first of all, some chili and cheese beef burgers. And these were £2 on a special offer for four. So I thought that was a really good price. Then I also got two beef steak and vintage cheddar burgers and these were £2.19. And then I got four lamb burgers so we can just have a mixture of them between the five of us. Um, these are roast lamb burgers with roast garlic and rosemary and I think these were £2.33 for two. So we can just have a nice mixture of burgers. I got some of these Stamford Street Co sausages, these were £1.19. I'll just cook these and they'll just be like a breakfast thing like to put in sandwiches and I also got some of these uh, taste the difference the meaty one sausages I really do rate Sainsbury's like taste the difference meats and things especially their sausages and burgers so these should have been five these should have been five pound for ten and they were three pound thirty three on like the nectar offer so I got those I thought we could have the sausages with some potato salad and some salad because it's quite warm here at the moment and I don't want to be faffing with too much cooking. I got some sweets for the boys, I always buy them something when I go shopping so I got three packs of the twin snakes. These were £1.25 a pack. Two brown basmati rice, these are 50p. Some Stamford Street Co plain tortilla wraps, these were 99p I believe and you get eight in there. I got some Lenore Outdoorables for £3.50. I really like the smell of this, so that worked out the best offer. Two Oatleys, again, the Nectar offer, they were £1.50, which is not a lot more than they are in um, Lidl and Aldi at the moment. <clears throat> Four tins of tuna in brine, these were £2.59, which is the same as Aldi again, so Sainsbury's are matching a lot of Aldi's prices. I got some pepperonis. I think they're 225. Two curry seasonings, so I've got a tandoori and a tikka, and these were £1.25 each. Another offer if you have a nectar card was 12 baby bells for £2.50 instead of £3.69 or something ridiculous. So I've got 12 loaves for 2 50 Two lots of fridge raiders, there's three packets in there, they were a pound a pack. I bought a Coleman's chili to make a chili con carne. And then I got some kidney beans from the world food aisle because they worked out cheaper than buying them in the actual like bean aisle. I'm going to make a chilli, I think, bear with me, I'm actually going to use corned beef instead of mince because we always make corned beef pasta but I've never tried to make corned beef chilli so I'm going to try. I got some squash, we hardly buy squash at all now because we just don't really drink it but... I got one because it is warm and sometimes it's just nice to have something other than water. I think this was £2 for the four times strength. Uh, the deodorant, this is £2.70, that's price locked so they're not going to put that up apparently. I don't know if they stick to it or not but they're not supposed to put it up. 
14 slices of honey roast ham. This was £2.25. I got two lots of chorizo. This was 90p a pack. And I'm going to do us all some chicken and chorizo salad. Some cheesy slices for the burgers if we want them. Although some of them have got cheese in. But I thought I'd get those. They were a pound for ten. Uh, and then I got some yogurts. Or like desserts. So I got some of these dairy milk pots of joy. These are limited edition chocolate brownie flavour. So I got two lots of those. And they were pound fifty for four. Some banoffee pie yogurts. Which were 85p each. And then I got a big raspberry yogurt. Like a big pot of the protein one. Um, this was £2 on offer so it works out quite a bit cheaper than buying them individually and I love the raspberry one anyway so I got one of those and I'll just take some out of that for my lunches. I got some hash brown bites. If you follow me over on Instagram, I don't post over there a great deal but I've recently shared some of our photos from our Brighton trip and we had deluxe loaded tater tots from somewhere um, and they were so good so when I saw these I thought I'm going to recreate these deluxe topped tater tots um so yeah it's my instagram is just victoria underscore folger if you want to follow me over there and see some of the pictures from brighton and things i am going to be putting some of the food and places we visited in a video as well i'll either put it on the end of one of these videos or i will do a separate like where to eat in brighton because we had some amazing food and drinks so I wanted to share those places in case anyone's in need of any inspiration if they're visiting Brighton. I got some steak cut chips and three lots of crisps. The ridge cut ones are six for £1.15 and the lion snacks I think are £1.15 as well and I really like the lion ones. I got some go ahead yoghurt breaks and some fruit slices. I think the fruit slices are a pound and the yoghurt breaks were one twenty-five. I got some pucker original chai um, tea pods or tea sachets there's 20 sachets in here this was four pound but I really want to make a chai latte at the weekend because we had one while we were away and it was so so nice and I just thought I would try these ones more toast and jam tea because we're running out and I absolutely love this one and then I got 30 pods for Five pound, which was a really, really good price for Nespresso pods, so I got those. Two very brightly coloured vest tops. I do like the ribbed ones and like with the detail in down the sides. They're just a little bit more higher quality than like the really cheap thin strap ones. These were only five pound each, which I thought was a really good price, and I love those colours. I got a plant and a birthday card, which I don't know where I've put that for my mum. It's her birthday tomorrow. We are actually taking her on a special day out. I'm just thinking if she will have seen this by the time. Yeah, she'll know by the time this is up. But I don't want to say what the day out is because I need to finalise the booking of it. But I will let you know and I will probably take my camera along to that when I go as well. But yeah, it's her birthday tomorrow so I thought she could have that. I don't know what it is but it looked pretty. And then I got the these beauty offers. This is a company called Beauty Kitchen. It's all organic, vegan, like makeup products basically or beauty products. So I was looking at the price tags and things and everything you see here was reduced to 60p. I mean that is absolutely ridiculous. The majority of these things were £9.50 upwards. There was nothing that was any less than 9 50 I think these um, CBD body polish were, this is by This Works, these were £15 I think and they're 60p. We've got organic vegan body cream, a citrus burst one. We've got organic vegan hand and body cream, botanic bliss. And they're in these like recyclable aluminium kind of tubes. And then I got the Absinian Oil Hydra Intense Face Oil. Again, this was 60p. And I got three of the Eye and Deep Line Super Serum. And this has got the same oil in it. It says hydrate and nourish. I got four of the CBD body polish. So it's a natural body exfoliator with CBD and lactic acid to buff and balance stressed out skin. I also got two seahorse plankton revitalizing gel cleansers, um, 60p. And three of these primetime Absinian oil cream cleansers. And I thought, I did message my sister-in-law, but she didn't get back to me. So if she says she'd use any of this, then... She can, she's welcome to have some because I just picked them up. They had loads and loads, but you never know if you're going to get back there before they have sold out. So 
I thought I'll get some and then if anyone else wants any they can just have it. I also got this brand called Up Circle. I've never heard of it before. Um, but again, these were like £15. So we've got a face moisturiser. We've got, and that's got the fine powder of discarded argan shells. We've got two face masks which have got discarded olive stones. And then we've got two face scrubs with um, made with repurposed coffee grounds. And I think this was one of the most expensive products. I mean, you can see they've all got the security tags on because of how expensive they were. I can't believe they were only 60p. I just want to have a look at what the tube looks like. So yeah, I picked up all of these bargains. This is in like a really nice aluminium tube. I absolutely love body creams, body polishes, all that kind of stuff. Face mask, anything moisturising. Really pleased with that. I mean, when I think of adding up how much that would have all cost me if I bought it outright and how much I actually paid, it's just ridiculous. So yeah, those were my bargains from Sainsbury's. That is everything I bought. Like I said, there is a birthday card floating around somewhere as well. I spent £130. Um... But I did get a plant, two tops, all that beauty stuff over there and then quite a few things to make meals out of as well. So it wasn't too bad. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. I do these videos every single week along with meals of the week, recipe videos, meal prep videos, all that kind of thing. And I will be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too